Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video, we successfully designed our admin profile page and also as I told you after every lecture now I want to push this code to the GitHub, you will get all that step by step process. Okay, what are exactly the things I have done for our previous lecture that is our admin profile image and update uh, part one, everything in here. Okay, which is totally fine. It will help you a lot. So now friend in this video I want to do um, like right now I'm locking with the user if you locking or another user as a Kazi so that is a username as a Kazi so now let's check this out it's perfectly working or not click as a logout I want to do and locking with the Kazi okay so that will be as a sorry that will be as a Kazi okay that is a Kazi and about the Kazi I use that password you demand to three four five now if you click as a login now you can see you are successfully logging and now if you go to that profile page again yes you can see right now i'm logging with the kazi as i told you which user is logging right i have already take that data who authenticated user which user is logging i get that data i simply get it with this variable and with this compact we pass this data in our admin profile page that means admin profile view page and here you can see it's now successfully displayed great now in this video i want to do i want to edit it okay so if you want to edit so that is our edit profile into this edit profile first of all we have to do we have to create another route for this i simply create another route okay i simply create another route so i name it as a route and i put on the route name and i just put that route name as edit okay edit profile okay so that will be the edit profile great and now if you want to create it that is all about the name route i copy it and in our web better i want to take another one i copy it how much easy it is you can see friend if you understand my step by step all process then that will be very much easy to you so now our name our name i name it as the edit profile i copy it so that will be as a edit profile and i just name it as a edit Okay, name it as edit profile that will be our url and after that url before i use that as admin profile url right here you can see it's now display as an admin profile great now i want to use for the edit as a edit profile and here i want to create another new method i just name it as a edit okay edit profile so this type of one of the method now i want to create in our admin controller right so now i want to, want to go to that admin controller and into this admin controller now i want to create a new one that will be a public and then function and then our method name as a edit profile i simply created that edit profile and also i make it as a that will be the end method an edit profile will be just like that same because here also i want to edit it which user is locking right which user is locking i have already get that things like that way so that will be just like that same better i copy it and after that but i copy total things okay i copy total things and then i paste it so now our id which is i have already discussed about that things with you which user is logging i want to get that user id and then with our user model i want to find this data and now i take another variable as edit okay edit edit data so now we have to do we have to pass that edit data with our another page i want to create another page in our admin as a admin profile view so now i want to make it as a admin profile edit okay so edit so now this type of one of the page now i want to create and here i want to pass which user is logging that user data with our different type of variable you can also use that same variable is totally fine so now we have to create our admin profile edit right so that is on the blade page now we have to create in our admin folder so that is our admin in our view and that is our admin here i want to do and to create another new file and now i just click as a save as Okay, click the save as and I simply name it as the admin profile edit.blade.php. Great. So friend, that will be just like that same here from our admin profile view. Better I copy everything. Okay, I copy everything and now in our admin profile edit here I paste it. Okay, I simply paste it. Now our page content will be needed. Case uh, contain fluid will be needed. Then there have also another row and now i want to do i want to here actually that will be on the input field right if you go to our theme into the theme if you go uh, like that is on the form okay if you go to that form there is our form element if you go to the form element like that is on the input field right so this type of one of the input field i want to actually take uh, that is in our form element dot html from here you can actually get it either then i want to take it from to this area so like i select it I guess it successfully get that dev so that is on the dev 
mm, there is also another div that is a call row md3 right so that is omd3 and that is on the card that is a card body then that is actually the card and then there is a row mm, i want to do that is actually total row right so that is our total row is ended in here so better i select it i select this row okay I select this row and also you can say i have already taken our main content in our layout i have loaded that page content mm, that is also another side that is a content fluid so now i take this row okay i take this row i simply click as a edit with html now I copy this row, I copy this row, and now in our admin profile edit, there is also on the row. If you select this div, and this div is ended in here, so right now I make it as a clean, okay, I make it as a clean, perfect. So now that is our two of this div, div is closed. Now here I want to do and to paste it, I simply paste it, now I want to select everything in our left position, with the left position I select it, and now if you click as a save all, now if you go to our profile page now refresh it okay refresh it and if you click at the as a edit profile yes it's now redacted to our edit profile page and yes you can see it's now successfully loaded all that our things so friend here only we need one input field okay one input field will be enough rest of this i want to do i want to remove it from here so if you want to do that work i like that is our texture in input texture input is actually this one so here i want to do to name it i name it as a that will be the edit right edit profile page i name it as the edit profile page that is a p tag i don't, don't need this any p tag i simply remove it and only i want to do and to take one dev okay you can see that is and row so that is if you select this dev is this dev is ended in here okay i only want to do and to take one and rest of this i want to delete okay rest of this all there is an and row i simply remove this and row and also for this dev div, dev is ended in here there is another and row i simply remove it okay now that should be perfect that will be only one click as a save all and now if you go refresh it yeah now it's perfect now there is only one input field so in particular input fill area we need one of the form okay so that is actually one tape so into this day area i want to, do, I want to take one of the form because from here i want to update it so that will be on the form form is closed and now i want to do, I want to cut it and after that day so that is our total day after that day i want to do and to finish it so that will be our and form great so now that is our one field for first of all i want to do i want to change our which things i want to change it that is if you go to that profile i need that image portion the name user name and then um user email address right so now that should be as a three field first of all i want to do to take as a three field first of all that will be as a not the text i want to name it as a name okay so that will be the name there's a name field and name field that is a input type which is totally fine and for the input here i want to do and to put one of the name okay i put that name so name will be i name it as a name as per our database field name you can change it as per your demand so our database field name if you go to that our user you can see there is a name email and then username so i want to do and to use it so there is a name there is a class type will be as a text type placeholder right now we don't need any placeholder okay i simply remove this placeholder from this position here i want to do i want to load that value okay that means uh, that will be display i have already get which user is logging that user data i have already taken with this variable as edit data here i pass that edit data with a compact methods now i want to can use it with our by our that variable as edit data right now go to our admin profile edit here i have already passed it so if you want to display it then you can display it with the value and this value i want to do i want to display it by our variable name as a edit okay edit data so now with this edit data i want to access our field name or database field name as a name right now in our input field area that value will be loaded our which user is logging that is user name like i show you if you look at the save all now if you go now here i want to refresh it and now if you go to the edit profile yes you can see the kazi is now loaded great that means which user is logging right now i'm logging with the kazi 
because the name is loaded and same as I want to do the another one so simply copy it okay copy it and better I copy that total div so that is a copied and I want to take another one also take another one so that will be for the email I name it as a user email okay user email and for the user email our field name I name it as email and our value will be as a our field name database field name as email so now that should be display our which user is logging logging user email right and also I want to take another one as a username username and username our field name I name it as a user name okay that will be the username and also if you want to display that username data then that will be the edit data as a username because if you go to our database into this database our field name as a username you can see now that user should be also display great now let's check this out if you click as a save all and now if you go again I want to refresh it hmm you can see now there is another field and our value is loaded as a Kazi user email email is successfully loaded username and username is also also successfully loaded so now I want to do I want to also update that image okay for the image I want to take another field if you want to take another field like right now I copy it and then here I paste it okay so that will be our another field I name it as a profile image okay sorry I name it as a profile image so that will be as a profile image and input field name okay here that will be one of the input field I want to name that as a profile profile underscore image so that will be the profile image type we don't need this any type okay that will be type will be needed because that will be one of the file type okay because so from here I want to upload that some of the file so that will be as a file type and value we don't need any value I simply remove this value because that from here I want to upload some of the images now, now let's check this out click the save all now if you go refresh it Hmm, you can see now there is a profile image and there is a choose option there is a choose file if you click it now you can see it's not successfully loaded on the image part from here you can actually choose some of the image okay you can choose some of the image and I want to do when you choose any image if you want to also display that image in particular that area you can also display it I show you then that will be interactive like here I copy again okay I copy another um, a row and here I paste it so right now level we don't need this any level I want only want to do on the display one of the images okay here if you want to display that image um, like before I have already loaded some of the image like that is the image okay from our admin profile view I want to copy it and now in our edit profile here there is our input field so into this input field area I want to do and to display one of the image okay Mm, there is the only asset I want to take the total image part I copy it and then here I want to do and to paste it okay so then that will be displayed on the image now let's check this out first click the save all now if you go refresh it hmm, you can see that is actually one of the image so here I want to do that have also one of the level right but I take that level first so there is a level and here I want to remove this level now that should be perfectly a save all because I want to do and to load it in here refresh it hmm now that is actually perfect right so now that is a level in this level area I want to make it as a empty so right now a level they have no level and after that Dave there is a call SM10 so before I loaded that level and then call SM10 so into this call SM10 I simply loaded one of the image and into this image there is a round circle I want to don't change that class uh, I don't want to use that round circle here if you want to use the images and uh, that is UI element and the images here right now which type you want to choose right now that is actually another type right if you select this one that is avatar round avatar lg so i want to use this one let's check this out how that things actually look like i want to update that class okay round avatar lg now click the save all now go there now refresh it hmm. now it's actually pretty better right and after that i want to add one of the update button because here also we have to update it right 
so now that is our total dev and before that form before this form I want to take another input field so that is a input and type will be that will be one of the submit type right so that will be one of the submit type and also here I want to do I want so I don't need any name I want to add that value or value will be as update okay update profile so this type of one of the value that will be display and also I have to put on the class name so there is a class class I want to use it as a btn btn okay btn btn round round or rather than if you go over here I want to check on the button button I want to use it for the info it's the same actually if you now select it so now that is our btn btn info light I copy it that is one of the button class and here I want to don't use on the button class okay I simply use one of the button class now if you click as a save all and now if you go refresh it now yeah you can see it's now another button as an update profile great so right now friend we successfully get that our profile all the data and that is email the username profile images and then update profile great so now i want to do um, like whatever the images actually you choose what are the images you choose if you select that image that image will be loaded in particular that area so you can actually do that work with using one of the javascript so better for in our next video i want to complete this part so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video